Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm just doing a random one-off video with Shino Birds again. This is definitely a deck that I really enjoy conceptually. I love the concept of spirits. I love the concept of this deck, and I love how broken these two ritual monsters are as far as like what their effects are. Like These things are on like Necro's level of broken as far as what their effects are because they're non-targeting removal for up to three cards, and then they summon other cards for combo pieces. Like That's actually just really, really good. Uh, but this deck actually just like in reality probably just absolutely sucks and it's probably just trash um, in terms of how it needs to operate because you're trying to go second I mean like you've got Denkos in here uh, you could play stuff like uh, Twin Twister potentially to uh, to allow you to have uh, a better time at going second as well but that would result in probably like a larger deck size and stuff like that there's there's probably a bunch of things that could be done to the pure Shino Bird deck but I don't really want to get into that I literally am playing this deck for this video because I want to transition into uh, into playing a different Shino Bird variant for uh, for the channel in, a, in the next couple of videos sometime in the next week or so and that is a uh, blue eye Shino Bird I have a deck list for that that I'm trying out and it works pretty interestingly in terms of how it operates uh, and it's something that I'm actually like really enjoying as far as uh, as far as how it functions on a uh, on a uh, on a theory level because I've only tested a few games with it but I wanted to play the pure Shino bird deck just one more time uh, before I uh, jumped into those so that is where we are now that is what we're dealing with but essentially uh, if you don't know what these cards do you will find out hopefully in the video uh, but basically all these are spirits so they bounce to your hand so you'd think that they don't uh, that they don't have a lot of synergy upon themselves, or they can't be really strong. But you you have all these different plays involving like these ritual monsters and shit that actually just really get your game plan going. The problem is the deck is incredibly weak to cards like Dimensional Barrier, uh, and honestly, like any form of removal trap. This deck can play around things like Strike and shit like that if you have the Crane on the board. Uh, but if you don't have the Crane on board. Uh, you can't really structure your chain links around strike that well as far as the ritual monsters are concerned. But if Crane is on the foot on the field in any way, shape, or form, then you are usually capable of playing around every trap in the game except for uh, for sol uh, for dimensional barrier as far as uh, as far as how that functions. But basically, enough rambling. I just wanted to play a game of this deck before I moved on to the other builds that I have for it, mainly the blue eyes build that I've already mentioned. Uh, and so basically, enough of that nonsense. Let's just jump straight into the game and uh, see if this deck can function uh, well enough. Hopefully, I go second and. Draw Denko or some shit. Let's see. <laughs> Let's fucking see. Let's get into the game, all right? All right, so what we're going to implement is... Uh, I can't even implement it because there's no way for me to. But I was going to say I'm going to implement a game where I literally have to take a like shot or some shit every single time I get Dimensional Barrier here while playing this deck. Um, I have no idea what he's playing. I told him he could play whatever he wanted. He asked me specifically if he could play Paleo, uh, and I said, I don't care. Just play whatever you want. So it might be Paleo. Um, we have a T set and then set one. Set two, okay. The more sets that start appearing here, the more I'm more inclined to believe it's something like Paleo. Uh, but as it stands, okay, I drew Calling, which is very good. Very good indeed. Alright. We can work with this. Uh, I want to spin the back row, though, um, is what I want to do. I could spin the back row, uh, summon the... I could summon the thing and spin the back row. This is the monster spinner. Uh, so that's going to be a bit of a, of a problem, but I can actually, no, I could summon, like, Nigatama out of my deck, overlay into, like, a Dweller, and then that would be fine. Okay, I've attempted to normal summon this. Why is, why is Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro forsaken me? There we go. Alright. <laughs> okay. We can, uh, we are cooking with gas now. So if this resolves, right, we're going to search for, uh, for the, uh, the, uh, Baroness. Uh, because that is the one that spins back row and then summons one from deck. And so that will allow me to summon a Nikitama from deck, which would allow me to generate a draw. Now what I'm going to end up doing is, I'm gonna, since I've got this in my hands, I'm going to ditch the other level 8. And see what we can uh, work with here. Uh, but as, far, as long as this resolves, I think we're completely fine. No dimensional barriers, please. I have had enough of those in my life. No! No! No, 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 no. How dare you? How dare you do this to me? So now, yep, see? I, if, if I were like live streaming or something, I probably had to have taken like a shot there. Um, fuck. God damn it. Like, this is so terrible. Like, why does a card like this exist? This card says, end your turn. I'm so upset. This card's at three. This card's at three because it doesn't say Link on it. Ooh, baby. It also doesn't say Effect Monster, so it's not like a pure ender of turns, but like still, god damn. Not <laughs> something I'm happy about. Um, okay, Dupe Frog. Okay, so he is playing Paleo. Um, okay, so Dupe Frog here, Dupe Frog there. I could have 
Gamma Sealed over this Dupe Frog, and I believe that would have made it miss timing, because Dupe Frog misses timing if you Tribute Summon for it, or if you Synchro with it. So I believe that would have made it miss timing. It doesn't matter if he makes it totally awesome here, because I'm just going to Tribute over it with uh, the Gamma Seal. Uh, sure, he'll get like a Dupe Frog back, but not really something I'm worried about. I just need to draw a way to... Uh, I need to draw a way to search another ritual spell next turn. Watch this be like another dimensional barrier. <laughs> that's that's what we're gonna have going on with us uh, with uh, this life. Okay, so no new sets. His hand must be yeah. His hand must be shit. Uh, as far as like just a bunch of monsters, but then, then then again, if it was a monster, if it was a monster heavy hand, why is he not summoning multiple totally awesomes with like swap frogs? There's no way it's like triple dupe frog and like two Ronins, is it? There's like no way that you can make me believe that that's what it is, but it could be, and that's all we need to know. Uh, but so we'll tribute this for Gamma Seal because that seems pretty all right. Uh, the Toad is going to add back uh, itself. Okay, I'm fine with that. So that 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 probably just means he has tons of shit in his hand that he can't use, um, as far as like Ronins and multiple Dupe Frogs. But that would be just absolutely the fucking tits if that's how that is. Uh, but so we'll add another calling here and hope to god this isn't another dimensional barrier because if it's not then we get to be at least a little bit lit activate come on come on no okay maxi we can fuck with this we can mess with this one um because what i can do is i can spin these to hand and i can summon one of the aratamas out of my hand um but it's not going to get its search effect so what i'm going to do is i'm going to summon this one uh ditching the level 8, the other level 8, to summon this, right? I'm going to use its effect to just one for one this card back into the deck, uh, unless it's chainable, in which case that's going to suck, because then I won't, I shouldn't be able to summon one from deck, um, unless it returns, right? And if he chains it, it's going to, uh, it's going to not return. Um, yeah, it doesn't even give me the option to return it. Um, so like, this is just terrible for me. This deck is fucking garbage as far as dealing with this shit. Um, <laughs> whoops. But, uh, damn it, that really sucks. That sucks so fucking much. This is so terrible. I just lose to any two traps, apparently. Um, I just wanted to play this because I wanted to play it again before I played a different deck, which was, uh, Shino Bird Blue Eyes, which is definitely a deck that I, uh, that I'm interested in playing. Um, it just slims down really heavily on the Shino Birds that you play. You're just playing the ritual cards, and then, like, um, and then, like, uh, crows. Uh, and shit like that, or Cranes, whatever its name is, and uh, from there you're able to uh, do other stuff. So he's not making another, he's not making another Toad before he attacks, which I find strange, but at the same time, okay, he's setting another one and passing turn, okay, so like, this is just the weirdest game in the world, that's a pre-prep, that's an amazing card for me to draw here, don't you believe that it's not, because I'm just going to do this, uh, I'm going to add... I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to add, um, I can add this from deck just so I don't brick on it. Yeah, uh, we'll do that. Because I can't bounce his back row anymore, but I can bounce my Gamma Seal. Uh, so I can definitely do that. But so what we'll do is we'll normal summon this. Uh, we'll use this to get a Nikitama, and I'll be able to, uh, ritual with the Nikitama and, um, uh, and the Aratama. And it'll... I don't even know. I don't even think I'm going to summon one from hand here. Um, or I could just get rid of the Nikitama and the Aratama. The Aratama will return to my hand. This will special. Um, hmm. Questions of the hour is what we're doing. So I'm just going to keep trying to throw these callings into his uh, into his stuff and see where it gets me. Um, but So I'm actually just going to get rid of this from the hand and I'm going to get rid of... Uh, I'll get rid of the Aratama from the hand as well. Because um, this Aratama is going to come back to my hand. I'm not going to use the effect to special from hand. Um, that's just silly. It'd be silly of me to do so. Uh, but I'll do this. Uh, the Nikitama is mandatory, so it activates the chain link one. This will try to activate to spin my Gamma Seal back to hand. Solemn fucking strike. Okay, well, so this is why I left this on the board, because now that Nikitama allows me to get a draw, at least. Um, because this would still be on the board as a spirit. So now this goes back to my hand, and now I've got a Max C that's not really going to be doing much. Goddamn, this is the most irritating game I think I've played in a long time. Um, strictly off the off the back of the fact that like every single time I put one of these uh, Shino Bird cards into a back row, it's just getting destroyed by it. 
And like, if I had something like Crow instead of uh, Arnotama, or is it Crow? I think it's Crane, actually. Um, I can't remember if it's Crow or Crane, but the one that draws a card when one is special, that one allows you to play around Strike. And so at this point, uh, all of my uh, Sheena Bird callings are in the graveyard. <laughs> um, so this doesn't let you add from uh, from your graveyard to hand, so that's kind of irritating. But so what it allows me to do is it allows me to it allows me to summon this and just keep trying to add Nikitama. Um, but like it's still not gonna be good because I'm still gonna probably just lose. Uh, but adding the Nikitama here will be kind of interesting. I'm gonna activate this and I'm gonna lose to this being literally any trap in the game. Um, is what's gonna happen. Uh, literally any single trap in the game that this is is gonna be game over for me because he's got Dynamiscus Engrave which can summon itself and I'm at 2800 life. Uh, so this is just a problem. Um, oh really? No monsters to summon? Okay, I'm okay with this. Hold on a second, what's in your grave? Could you have been summoning, you could have been summoning this Ronin Toad in turn after turn um, and doing shit. So I'm actually kinda confused. Um, a wind. Oh, it's a dark. This has to be a wind monster returning to my hand, which none of the ones in my hand are. Oh, <laughs> that's so ignorant. That's so terrifying. That's so terrible. That's a Gamma Seal. I could summon it and bump heads. That's something that can happen. Uh, but so we'll summon this. We'll use it to rotate out for uh, for Nuki Thomas. Uh, this is this is what my life has been uh, resorted to, right? I'm gonna discard Nuki Tama, add back Nuki Tama, and just try to circulate. Uh, try to get to like an urgent ritual art. Uh, but even if I got to an urgent ritual art, um, it'd be kind of a moot point. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna rotate out for Nikitamas. Um, if I draw an urgent ritual art here, I'm gonna be pissed. Um, let's be completely honest, because I would have had to add one of the uh, the ritual monsters back there. Um, that's pre-prep, which is dead. I'm pretty sure I said I was gonna draw into that. Neat. Alright. So I'm gonna special summon this uh, in attack mode. And I'm going to just bump heads with the Gamma Seal and attack with the fucking Izanami. And hope that he doesn't have any monster in the game. That's that's the weakness of this deck. This deck has normal summon upon normal summon upon normal summon. And if you're not able to resolve any of your ritual monster effects, then you're gonna get dot you're gonna get got. There's no ifs, ands, or, or buts about it. You're gonna get got. It's just gonna happen. No lube. It's gonna happen. <laughs> the only saving grace I have here is if he has something like Canadia. To put this face down so it doesn't bounce. And then I don't have to worry about his stuff. But now, like, Maxi could be activated at any point. Um, but it's not going to save me uh, from a game shot. <laughs> because he could just summon, he could just summon, like, two traps. Um, he could summon one trap, even. He could summon Ronin Toad and poke me six times. Really, set one and pass. Okay, here's Ronin. All right, baby. We're going to get this Maxi draw. It's going to be the spice. You best believe. Uh, I need to draw something like Brilliant Fusion. That's upstart. We can work with that. Gives us another shot to draw Brilliant Fusion. Alright. This is weird. Okay, there's Urgent Ritual Art. Okay, good, 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 good. I can actually start working with this, potentially. Let's see. We're gonna upstart here, yeah? We're gonna upstart, and we're gonna draw a card. That's Brilliant Fusion. Okay. Oh, baby. Alright, we can work with this. We can work with this, I swear. Guys, I swear. I'm gonna normal summon this Aratama, and we're gonna use its effect to try and add a card to my hand. Right? To try and add the crane. And uh, so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna brilliant fusion, we're gonna send Garnet, we're gonna send a Nikki Tama, and then it's gonna be oh I can add this to hand. Amazing. I will add this to hand, thank you. Uh, so what I will now do is I'll then try to activate my brilliant fusion. Yeah? I'll try to activate that. I've got the urgent ritual art, but that doesn't mean shit because I can't spin his Paleozoic traps because they're unaffected by monster effects, but I can spin his Ronin Totem. So that's not a big issue. And so solemn warning. Solemn warning on this. Interesting. Interesting choice of action. I uh, can't say that I agree with it, but it's interesting to say the least. So we're going to set two, and then we're going to pass turn. Alright? Seems alright, right? So what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to urgent ritual art this guy out, um, sending Nikitama, and uh, and then we'll see what happens here. Morelia. Okay, so any trap in the game is what I lose to right now. Um, but I can actually just flip urgent ritual art on his turn, spin his stuff, put this about here being big as shit, and then it'll be, uh, be pretty alright. Okay? That's the, that's, that's the idea. So I'm going to start holding down A, and uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and fucking do this. Right now. No fucking respect. We're not even going to try and wait for him to uh, for him to make totally awesome. No, no, no. 
Not game, not gonna, not even gonna do it. Ritual, another dimensional barrier in the same game. Ah, uh, sad times for the sad man. Sad times for me. Fuck. Okay, I'm just gonna have to like make a rule where I never play against Paleozoic ever again. Uh, especially when like Demol's piloting it because he always has the perfect card for what I'm trying to do. He either has the dimensional barrier when I'm playing Shino Birds, right? Or if I'm playing Mermail or some deck that just can kill him, he's got the Wabaku every fucking time, right? He's not even playing the 60 card build. He's not even playing the good build. He's playing the arguable worst build, right? Because the 40 card deck doesn't have enough good starter cards. I mean, this game has lasted 13 turns based off the uh, based off the premise of his deck isn't operating optimally. And my deck literally is doing nothing. He's stopping me with one trap per turn, and yet he's not been able to kill me before turn 13 fucking teen. Um, I'm a little salty. I'm a little salty, I'm a little heated. But I'm trying my best to keep it under wraps. You know, because I fucking love this deck. I enjoy playing this deck, but I'm literally losing to warning, double dimensional barrier, and then any fucking trap in the game that prevents my stuff from resolving. I've gotten striked, I've gotten warning, I've gotten double dimensional barriered. Fuck me. Holy shit. Okay, well, I'm gonna just leave this one here. I really just wanted to play this deck one more time before I moved on to a different Shinobird variant, which was Shinobird Blue Eyes, as I've already said, because <laughs> that deck's kinda cool. Um, at least in theory. I haven't tested it too heavily yet, but in theory and on paper, it looks really good, and it looks really interesting. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Be sure to like and subscribe, and check out the links in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to help support me directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. It also gets you access into a monthly raffle giveaway at the end of each month, so definitely check out the details of that over on Patreon if you are interested. Also, one of the reward tiers on my Patreon is to get access into my into my uh, private Discord server, where me and like 15 other people are currently, where we literally just chat about literally anything and everything. Like, we've talked about some crazy nonsense in this chat and it's also where I pull people from to play games for this channel so if you're interested in either of those go check out the patreon and look into that reward tier but also the giveaways are something interesting as well but if you're looking to buy or sell cards while also indirectly supporting the channel then be sure to check out second chance gaming's website which is also linked in the description they are a direct sponsor of me and this channel I'm a big fan of how they do business with what I've dealt with thus far but definitely check out their site and let them know that Phoenix sent you but other than that that is it for this video I'm very salty I'm very upset and uh, thanks for watching <laughs> thanks for your time and as usual guys Guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video.